Hey everyone, today we'll do a couple of different exercises designed to help us wind down for sleep. You could also do this sort of in the afternoon lows, especially if you've had maybe some stressful events happening in the morning. It's a great way to kind of dissolve and shake off that hum of energy that you may have acquired during the day to decompress and slip into a more relaxing state. Um, you may notice I have a couple things set up. So to make you more comfortable when you lie down, you might like a light uh, pillow, a thin pillow under your head. I just have a scarf folded. I find that that's a nice thickness. Uh, the key to know is if you feel, okay, comfortable and supported, you need more support if your head is super far back to bring it into a more um, head in line with the spine alignment. If you tend to slouch and have that head forward position, this is for you. And then over time, lying on the floor should help broaden across the collarbones and bring the head to nicely float above the shoulders. I also like to have something under my knees. You may have a fancy bolster at home. I just have a second yoga mat rolled up, so that's up to you. You could do the same as I did with the scarf. If you have a towel, roll it up, put it under your knees, a blanket, anything like that. On that note, when you lie down to keep you warm, you may like to cover up with blankets. This is actually a good relaxation exercise to do. Again, maybe you're in the middle of your work day, you aren't, don't have a ton of blankets, it keeps a little bit of heat in the body. You may also find this a little bit of an invigorating practice. So listen to your body, notice how you feel, do what you like and what seems to work, everything else, you can let it go. Not good or bad, just maybe not working for you today. We always have that control over our yoga routines, right? But let's begin. This is traditionally done seated on the heels. You can do it seated in a chair. You can even do it standing. However we're comfortable, the idea is to have a tall spine so we can get a deep breath in. And we're gonna do a lion's breath. If you have any kids with you, they love this one. It is exactly as it sounds. We're gonna exhale like a lion with uh, as much personality as you would like to give it. Depending on if uh, people are nearby and you don't want to, them to hear you, I'll show you a more subtle way to do it. So we can inhale and then just exhale from the mouth. Inhale and exhale from the mouth. Like you're fogging up a mirror. That would be the more gentle variation. Or we can give it some gusto. You can really pour your heart and soul into this. It's often done sticking the tongue out and really leaning forward. So if you are standing up, this is a great one to just let rip. Okay, let's give it five more. gotten that energy out of our system, we're ready to go ahead and lie down. Another opportunity to kind of shake our sillies out from sitting on our uh, ankles like I was just doing, or even if you've been sitting at your desk all day and want to get some blood flowing, we can shake the legs out. You might want to shake the ankle off, give it a little movement, shake off our shoulders, anything to kind of let that restless energy <sighs> you know you're doing it right if you feel that that restless energy has reduced and dissipated this may not be the right exercise for you if you notice that you're like really pepped up and energized and raring to go that's something to keep in mind for you maybe more of an energizing practice uh, my intention here today is to give us something to help us wind down it's not good or bad just something to notice when we're finished shaking our sillies out, we're gonna go ahead and lie down and it'll lead us through a tense and release exercise. So we can come into a relatively comfortable position. We're not stuck where we are because we're actually gonna keep moving. So lying on our backs, we're gonna start. We might wanna do another lion's breath. Inhale. 
And we'll go through our bodies. Let's start by squeezing our fists tight, tight, tight. And I'll offer us the option for a breath pattern. We can inhale, exhale, inhale, and then on the second exhale, release. We're going to move this through the whole body. Squeezing the arms and the shoulders, we can stretch up our faces. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and on the second exhale, that's when we let that muscular tension go. And we'll start to work our way through the upper body. We can squeeze our abs and our back muscles, shoulders as earrings. And then through the lower body, we can start with our feet. And as we're going, you may notice areas where you naturally hold tension. So you may actually find, like let's say I hold a lot of tension in my thighs. And then I'm going to squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then I find that tension releases. And I can get some movement in there to loosen that up. Or when we squeeze the whole body, you might notice, oh, actually my neck is really tense. So you may find again, squeeze, 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 bringing awareness to that tension. And then when we let it go, it releases. So let's keep this pattern going of moving our awareness through the body, squeezing, breathing, releasing on an exhale and inviting that sensation of melting to come into our bodies. So we're still working our muscles a little bit, keeping some warmth in our bodies, even if we're in a cold room. And then noticing that we're supported beneath us. Again, continuing to squeeze whatever we need. Might look funny, but if it feels good, it's great. And I'll offer us a breath practice for today. Simply inhaling. One, two, three. Exhaling. Three, two, one. As we go, let's see if you can slow your breath down. So feel free to keep doing tensing and releasing, tensing and releasing, and when you're ready to settle in, we'll do our counting breath. Inhaling, one, two, three. Exhaling, three, two, one. Let's see if we can slow the count down. Breathing deeper, fuller, longer. Stay in this space for as long as you like. I hope it has brought you some relaxation. And from my light to yours, namaste.